Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 8 of Book 6. Now in this proposition, we have a right angle triangle, A, B, C, and from the point A, which is where we have the vertex with a 90 degree angle, we drop a line perpendicular to the base BC. So again, we have a right angle triangle ABC, and we draw a line from the right angle vertex to the base, perpendicular to the base. And this proposition states that the original triangle ABC and the two subsequent angles ABD and ADC are all similar to one another. And that implies that they're all equal angular. So in other words, it would imply that B is equal to beta and C is equal to gamma, and that these relationships all hold. So let's start with our proof. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just redrawing this triangle ABD off to the side so that it's a little easier to visualize what this proof is about. In Euclid's book, he doesn't draw two diagrams. It is all just drawn in one triangle but I found it difficult to explain myself. So just bear in mind, I'm not keeping this truthful to Euclid's illustrations, but nonetheless, it is still his proof. So let's compare the triangle ABC and the triangle ABD. And again, remember ABD is from A, B, and D and A to D is perpendicular to BD. So here's the two triangles that we want to look at. Now beta is equal to beta, and we have a right angle and a right angle. So if two of the three angles are equal, then the third also has to be equal, proposition 32 from book one. So gamma is equal to C. So these two triangles are equal angular. And if they're equal angular, that means that A, sorry, that means that the ratio of the sides of the triangles opposite the right angles, so BC to AB, will be equal to the ratio of the sides opposite the angle gamma and C, because they're both equal. So the previous ratio was BC to BA, that will be equal to AB to BD, which will also be equal to AC to AD, again because it is the side of the triangles that are opposite the angle beta. So we have shown that C and gamma are equal, and we have this relationship between the sides of the triangles. And according to uh, the actual definition of what it means to be similar, similar means equal angular and the appropriate equality of ratios of the sides subtended by the equal angles, which we've just demonstrated. So ABC and ABD are similar to each other. Now we could in principle have done that for ADC, so I'm not going to redo it because it certainly was possible to do it. But now we'd like to show that ADC is similar to ABD. So again, we have two triangles where we had C and gamma are equal from our previous part of our proof. We have two right angles. So again, the third angle must be equal. So beta and B are equal. And we're just doing the same thing again where AB to AC is equal to BD to AB, which is also equal to AD to DC. So we've just demonstrated that ABD and ADC are equal angular and the ratios all hold. So again, this is the definition of similar. So ABD and ADC are similar. 
wrapping this all up, we have that ABC is similar to ABD, which is similar to ADC. That is the proof. Now there's something called a porism. I have tried to find the actual definition of what the word porism means, and it seems to mean that it falls out of the proposition itself. It's not the actual proposition, but it's as a result of the proposition being true. We've shown that if we have a right angle triangle, and if you draw a line from the vertex of the right angle to the base at 90 degrees, then this line, AD, will be in mean proportion to BD and DC. And what does it mean to be a mean proportional? It means that BD to AD is equal to AD to DC. AD being repeated twice, that is the defin definition of mean proportional. This porism is used in a uh, proposition further along, so we just needed to state that this was a consequence of the original proposition. And that's it for this proposition. See you on the next one.